Yo, what is going on, Turf Team? Today we are here in the semi-finals of the Gamer Saloon Tournament with $200 plus riding on the line in this game. We are playing our boy Cody Gorman, uh, who has been a, a Turf Team member for quite a while here, and it's brought his game up, as you see. He is also in the semi-finals here, so, you know, that's kind of the quality that we like to bring, and this is a... Uh, this was kind of an honor to play someone that, uh, you know, we've helped out throughout the year to get this far. And, you know, this was a tough game. Uh, we've played Cody a few times. We know him. He knows us really well. Uh, and uh, we both really want to win. You know, this, there's a lot of money on the line in this game right here. Like I said, it's about $200, uh, give or take. Uh, the winner guarantees themselves uh, $150 cash and a copy of Madden 16. So... We're both going at it, but let's get into the gameplay. As you see, Cody is really taking his time here uh, driving downfield. And here is kind of his play of the game right here. On third and 23, he throws up and he gets this crazy face catch uh, with Jimmy Graham, uh, which keeps his drive alive, which is a huge play for him, huge. Uh, another thing I want to kind of make note of is uh, I know the quality of this one is not great, uh, that is because my Elgato did not record this, so I had to pull it off of Cody's stream, so I know that the quality is a little lower, um, you know, but I do apologize. But as we see here, Cody goes up and gets a 7 nothing lead on us, so right now the uh, the pupil is beating the teacher. And uh, we'll see if this kind of continues, but we get the little fumble here, uh, you know, we pick it back up. Uh, I think I ran a lot of white trail this game as well, kind of like the rest of the tournament. Um, Cody knows the offenses that we've sold and all that, and he uses them. So uh, I was trying to uh, keep him guessing a little bit, right? And I liked the way he was trying to defend wide trail, but it was leaving a lot of openings for me, like here, right here. As the crossing route comes across, it's B. Uh, what Cody was doing on the left side of the screen there a lot was either manning up the fade or uh, blitzing from that side. So I knew that kind of the crossing route would eventually come open. The second and ten here, we kind of scramble away. You know, we're, like I said, we're trying to put up seven right before half two. We get ball back. We know that if we can get those points, it's great. We throw it to Gronky and don't get anything. So we'll take our three. We don't want to be down too much versus Cody. Knowing how solid he is. So currently we're down 7-3. to three. Cody's trying to move the ball to get a field goal right before half. To go uh, up 10-3. And, uh, you know, give himself a sizable lead. You know, even with us getting the ball. Like, we know points aren't coming easy at all of this game. And they, they just won't. Uh, for either of us. So Cody's driving. He's trying to roll out and uh, get something going there. But he ends up just taking his three points. Uh, pretty smart, you know. I can't blame him at all for that. But as we see here, we're throwing uh, the slant from B again. We probably should have thrown it there again. Uh, it was open. But Cody's definitely got some heaters coming too. So uh, you've got to make your quick reads. And, you know, I'm not trying to mess up or throw at his user. Like here, it's a bit of a bad play. But it was a great adjustment by him. So here we go. Fourth and four. Kind of like, all right, game time, game time, game time. And we throw a fucking dot to Gronk with a pass lead up on the the, uh, the trail route there, which is, uh, oh, that was so nice. But here we go, second and goal. We're trying to score, and Cody's run D is just tough. It's tough. So uh, we're going to go for it on fourth and goal here. We know we need the game tied. Uh, we, we have to score. So I'm showing you kind of the entire play here. So I motioned the guy out. Just to, as a bit of a decoy, knowing that I'm going to be throwing the wide receiver out play. Because um, he's either manned up or uh, the flat there. But there's no one really that far on the outside. So that was kind of like I made a quick read myself there. Knowing that that'll probably be open. And it was. And it was. So uh, now we've got Cody getting the ball back. With uh, just over a minute left in the third. And... Uh, if his first drive in the game was any indication, I think it was 17 plays in seven and a half minutes that he can clock me uh, really well. So I think that's what he's going to try and do here, and that's the smart play. Clock me out the rest of the game and uh, win the money and advance to the finals. 
so as you see here he's he's going still you know he's we've got under four minutes left in the uh game and uh he tries to run the our end around but I, I snuff it out really well and here is our first truly big break of the tournament he throws a bit of a curl to jerry and uh he gets popped pretty good um and we finally get a fumble so you know we get the ball back we have a chance to win but then cody starts sending just murderous heat versus us and uh so it comes down, and I, I have to punt the ball back. You know, not an ideal situation, but I, I really had to sit there and decide what I wanted to do, so I decided to punt the ball back. And here is our play of the game. Uh, we came out in man, we shaded underneath, and Cody, for some reason, he panicked. And he, th he, he threw the curl route even before Calvin really had turned around, so he throws the ball right to us. Uh, we basically have almost enough time to clock out. So I ran the ball twice here. And then I realized that, shit, I mean, we are playing Madden. Let me just take a knee. I don't need a fumble. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. So here we go. We're taking the three to uh, to go up three with a few seconds left. And really, he's just got to return the kickoff. And his kickoff return actually scared the shit out of me at first. I thought he was going to take it back. And I was probably about to break a, a controller or two. But, uh. This was a great game. You know, I have so much respect for Cody. Uh, cool dude. I know, you know, he respects us and me as well. So, you know, it was honor getting to play him and take uh, one of our own this far in the tournament. But uh, up next is STW in the finals with about $500 on the line. I'm CeCe and I'm out.